sometimes you just you just gotta have the steak quesadilla. So this morning sucks. I gotta freaking scale my. You have eight hours and zero here. minutes of remaining drive time. Why do I gotta scale my truck? Because I'm carrying forty-three thousand pounds. So when you're on the road, you can only legally have your truck at 80,000 80, pounds total. You know, with your truck, your trailer, and all the cargo. I didn't get up too early, did I? I hope. No. So that's how it works. So, when you're carrying like over 33, 34,000 pounds, you gotta make sure that you scale your load because not only can you not be over 80,000 pounds, you, um, you can only have so much weight on each part of your truck, you know? So you have three parts to your, to your truck. You have your steering axle, which is the part that hits the ground. In, in front, you, that's that's your front tires, that's your front axle. Then you have your drive axle, which are the ones in the middle, and then you have your trailer axle, which is the one um, in back. So each of those can only be carrying so much weight, and you can adjust it. Uh, but that's what you what we got to make sure of, and that's why you got to go scale. Dude, if you get caught overweight on like, you know, especially like like the drive axle or, or the uh, trailer axle, like, psh, dude, you're, you're looking at a fine of hundreds of dollars, sometimes over a thousand dollars, and the company ain't gonna pay that. You gotta pay it. So, we gotta take care of our shit this morning. <sighs> well, I'm gonna do a quick pre-trip and we gotta pull out into traffic, pull back in so we can scale. So that's the first thing this morning.
The whip around backing is a basic maneuver that every trucker should know after just a few days on the road. While it's not as complicated as a 90 degree alley dock, it's more difficult than a simple straight pull through. Pick out your spot and drive about a tractor's length past it. Do a sharp serpentine maneuver out to your left until your trailer is lined up straight behind you. Then simply back it in, making small corrections along the way. Here's a quick demonstration. Looks like we got a few spots on our right up here. We pick one out and we start our sharp left turn. A hard right and the tractor and trailer are in line for our backing maneuver. A few corrections along the way and we're in. If you didn't get it the first time, or if it's not just how you want it, just pull part way out until you've got the line you want, and ease it back in. I'm feeling good tonight two reasons. One, laundry's in the machine. And say what you will about coming to the south, a lot of guys don't like coming down here, especially Yankees. But I went in there, I had my quarters, I had my clothes, and uh, I had money to buy laundry detergent. I went to the aisle, they had bleach, they had fabric softener, no laundry detergent. But being in the south, the lady who worked there said, oh, well, let me just take care of you. And uh, she went in back, came out with like, you know, so much detergent, and said, here you go, use that. And it's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> that was like gonna ruin my day if it wasn't there. <laughs> Uh, so, they're so nice down here. I love them. Southern ladies, I mean, oh, I love them. Reason number two, we have, like I said before, we got the World Series of Poker that I can stream tonight. I think it's on, like, right about now. So, if I can catch about four hours of that, that should take us down to the final nine. And uh, the final table, I think, is played on Saturday and Sunday. So we started with like 7,500 players in this one tournament, each paying $10,000. So it's really fun to watch. Um, I think it might have to do a hand breakdown tonight. Um, I'll find a good hand, record it, maybe just on paper, and We'll do some hand analysis, see how that goes, so. All right, till then.